Um, so without further ado, let's go into your reading here. Um, so f there's a, a an impatient energy, like it's a, a very impatient type of energy that I'm feeling for many of you. And um, I just want to talk about that first, because I feel like it's kind of hindering a lot of areas of your life. Okay, so I, I want you to be a little bit careful about, um, so first of all, I'm, I'm seeing here, there's a relationship that you want to get off the ground. And you've been pushing for it. You've been like persistently pursuing the other person and pushing for it. And I feel like the other person is like the, the total opposite of you. They're very cool. They're very calm. And they're, they're very, very patient. And so I see you, you know, rushing towards them. And it's not met with the response that you're hoping for. And then I see you withdraw. So from their perspective, they feel like you're blowing hot and cold. Okay, so they, they, they feel like they feel like they, they know that you have the hots for them. Like they know that you're interested in them, that you're attracted to them. They can feel it. But then you push too hard and they don't really know how to respond. And then when it's met with, you know, that lack of response that you're hoping for, then you're just like, oh, never mind. You, you're not interested in me. I'm going to, you know, take my love and go elsewhere. And then you turn around and you go off in a different direction. So they are very thoroughly confused by you. They're very confused. And so I feel like, you know, rather than pushing so far ahead, you kind of have to do a little bit more observing. Because I feel like you're dealing with someone whose love language just doesn't really match up with yours. And I feel so horrible just saying that because, you know, that, that word, love language, what is that? It, it, it doesn't register in the Sagittarius psyche, okay? If we feel passion, we should show it. If we feel excitement, if we're tr attracted to somebody, we want to be around them all the time. And so what is this love language that, you, that people throw around? And it's showing up here with the two of cups. The way they show love and the way you show love are not jiving with one another. The person that you're dealing with is like this. They're still, they don't really do anything. They don't really take a, um, take risk. They, they're kind of, unfortunately, uh, and I feel bad, but, uh, cross watchers, no offense. Um, they can seem a little bit dull and boring. Okay. So I think of this person as someone who's very home oriented. I see them going to a casino probably, you know, once every decade and they go and they observe, but they don't bet on anything. It's someone who's very risk adverse. They admire from afar, but when it comes to taking the necessary actions, all you hear is crickets. So this is somebody that you, for whatever reason, you like. And I'm sure they have really good qualities. They're dependable. They're very loyal. They're very honest, very truthful, good, like good work ethics, you know, so I'm pretty sure there are reasons why you like them. But your energy is like this. This is someone who takes risks, who's very adventurous who's very no-nonsense. You wear your heart on your sleeves, and when you like somebody, you will make your intentions known. And so just imagine these two people coming together. It's, um, it's not exactly compatible. And so that's what I mean by, you know, your love language are not really compatible with one another. Whatever you feel, you're, when you feel like you're sending them messages, and you feel like, oh, it could only be, you know, construed a, a specific way. They're not getting it. They feel like you might be a little bit too aggressive. Or they might feel like you're being flirtatious. And you're like this with everybody. Or they might feel like you're just playing around. You're just making fun of them. Or you're just uh, taunting them. And then whenever they give you a message and they're like, okay, the Sagittarius has to know how I feel about them. You read it and you're like, I don't even know how to respond to this. So the way you communicate down to the very fundamental ways in which you express love and emotions, it's not the same. It's not the same. And so you guys are kind of talking over one another, cross wires, 
things are just not really registering with each other, okay? Um, I also feel as well issues with, with miscommunication. Um, not only, you know, like um, misinterpreting the, the information that's sent, but messages that are sent and not received by the, the other person. And they likewise, I feel like they sent you some messages and they're waiting for a, a response and they don't hear anything from you. And then they're like, what? I thought they liked me. And you do like them. That's the problem. You do like them. But for whatever reason, um, for whatever reason, I feel like it's, it seems like the universe is telling you have a face to face, heart to heart conversation. You know, don't beat around the bush. Don't do it through electronic channels. And especially we are also heading into Mercury retrograde. Um, there will be many communication mishaps from, let me see, November 17 tomorrow until December 5th. Okay. So a lot of mishaps, a lot of miscommunication. So this situation can get worse if you're not careful. So I feel like the universe is telling you, sit down, have a normal conversation. This is somebody who's actually quite old school and traditional. They want to have a, uh, a talk over a cup of coffee. They want to feel comfortable. They want to feel in their element before they can have any type of meaningful communication. Okay. So I see you like this. You could be, you know, on the treadmill, on the Stairmaster, and you're able to multitask. You're able to talk about this, about that, about the last movie you saw, about the last book you read, the last place you travel while you're on the treadmill and, you know, possibly even listening to music. You're able to multitask and you're able to do things successfully. This is not a person that can do that. They need to be sitting down on a couch, possibly, you know, warm with the fire going and they need to feel comfortable and they probably need, you know, a few drinks before they can uh, open up. And so you kind of have to get this person in their space of comfort before they can open up and give you any meaningful communication, okay? It's not somebody that you can shoot a text message to and ask them like five questions. They want to have a conversation. So you, you definitely have somebody here that is looking at you. Yeah, I, I feel like there's interest, okay? There's a lot of interest. And uh, they wish that you could communicate with them more. They feel like you're very busy. You might not have time for them, that you might not have time to be in a relationship even with anybody. And so you have to tone down with the impatience. Um, you have to appear a little bit more grounded. Okay. Walk a little bit slower. I don't know why. Uh, walk a little slower, especially for those of you with Mars in uh, Sagittarius. You're always on the go. You're fast. You have really, really short, quick strides. You do things with an, with a purpose. And you, when you walk, you have a destination. Okay. You don't randomly stop and chit chat. You don't meander. You don't get really get sidetracked from where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do. Um, it's like a one track mind. And so the other person feels like you're constantly moving here and there. And they're not really sure if you, um, if you even have time to be in a relationship with anybody, let alone them. So slow down and give this person more attention. Um, I feel like, yes, there are messages that were sent that you might not have received and you're going to be finding out about it and you're going to be kicking yourself and you're going to try to make amends. And then the other person is like, I sent you all these messages. I can't believe that you didn't get them. So, you know, have a face to face conversation. It's going to solve a lot of these issues. You get to see their facial expressions, they get to see how you behave, and it's going to smooth things out, okay? So I feel like that's what the universe really wants for you. Um, travel delays is, is what I'm also seeing here. Um, I see some of you being separated from a crush or from a love interest. It could be due to travel. It could just be the holidays. And I feel like it's going to be a little bit challenging. It's difficult, you know, not seeing the object of your affection every day. But I, I see that coming in. But I feel like you're going to be distracting yourself with other things. Not other people, but other things. Either way. So in terms of love, I have here um, 
an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And then I have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I also have another fire sign. And this seems to me like it's a cycle from the past. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo as well. So you've got a lot of people coming into the picture. It's going to be a very uh, dynamic, fun, exciting week where there's a lot to do, a lot of people to see, a lot of traveling and movement with you. I also see like, um, you know, instead of bar hopping, you're going like um, house parties, you're going to different houses. So it's like, I guess house hopping, house party hopping, whatever the term is. Um, I see a lot of that happening. Make sure you are, you know, uh, you have a, a designated driver. Okay, make sure if you're like taking a Lyft or an Uber, make sure that you do that rather than driving back and forth and trying to find parking. And it's just logistically it just doesn't make sense so i see a lot of festivities that can be had as well within the next week opportunities for socializing for going out for meeting people and for i also feel helping people i feel like you're giving out either financial advice you're giving out um, words of wisdom you're giving out advice or something you're helping a lot of people and you're socializing with a lot of people. I see some of you might be in the public eye, like giving a speech, giving a talk, doing something where a lot of eyes are on you. And I feel like it's, it's going to be smooth sailing. So you might not even need to rehearse a lot. You're just going to uh, exude a lot of charisma, a lot of charisma. And it's going to allow you to be very well received at this um They're saying it's well attended. So lots of people will be there. And you might have a little bit of um, self-doubt or a little bit of a stage fright starting off, but it's going to work out really well. Um, I also feel like, you know, once again, um, I keep seeing this element with family. We are approaching Thanksgiving here in the United States. And so if there has been money owed to family members, make sure you rectify it. I see a little bit of like keeping, a, holding a grudge or keeping a grudge. And I feel like it's from somebody else coming to you. And I feel like an air sign, family member that is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, somebody's holding a grudge or somebody is uh, talking about things that should have been in the past, but for whatever reason, they're bringing it up. So just be careful about that, okay? Um. Travel and movement, if you are planning to travel, if you are planning to, you know, relocate, um, it's a good time to start looking in those things right now, but don't sign anything until after December 5th. If you have to do it, you have to do it, okay? But I'm saying here, like, um, during Mercury in retrograde, it's not a great time to, you know, um, sign documents. It's not a great time to bind ourselves in any uh, contracts 